Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Courtney King alongside the pastor of pain, yep. Corey Miller. Of course, Thanksgiving means rivalry week. So we're talking some Carolina and we're talking some Clemson. So since you've been around this rivalry for a very long time, what is your favorite memory? Well, Courtney, it goes back a long time. Of course, it's been a while since I played. But I go back to 1987 when I was a freshman hit South Carolina. And actually, it was my only win against Clemson. Didn't play that much, but Brad Edwards picked the ball off. We won that game 20-7. to and it uh, felt good. And unfortunately, I never felt that feeling again in a Carolina uniform. So uh, 1987 have to be the, the, the most memorable thing I've had because they, they beat me up pretty bad the next three years. I might not have been alive then, but, but that, <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's you. okay. And he's, we'll switch gears. We'll talk about how it's now officially the Palmetto Bowl, although we've been calling mm -hmm. that for a while. So thoughts on making it official? Well, I think they need to, like – identify the rivalry because when you look at the Iron Bowl, the Egg Bowl, all these big time uh, rivalries, South Carolina Clemson kind of falls down the totem pole. So you put the Palmetto State, the big rivalry, I don't know about the Hardy's Trophy and all that, that stuff, but I think it's good to kind of really give it a name and I think it give it a sense of stability and because uh, it, it is a good rivalry. Unfortunately, right now, only in the state of South Carolina that people really recognize how good of a rivalry it is. All right, so let's get to the game. Deshaun Watson probable to start there's some reports saying he will there's some saying they don't know quite yet how will that affect the game if he does get the start well if you listen to most Clemson fans they'll tell you if he's not playing they don't have a chance I mean it's unbelievable the faith that they have in a true freshman at quarterback and when you talk about that yeah I don't know we haven't seen a bad game out of, uh, out of Watson but we've seen bad ones out of Cole Stout so I understand the confidence that they have up at Clemson with him because the offense seems to flow much better but Honestly, I don't think it really matters. When you talk about this rivalry, you just kind of toss everything out the window. If Cole Stout plays, I think he will probably play well because his last home game and he's going to be excited, and I think those guys are going to perform well for him. Now, looking at the last couple games, Carolina's defense, mm -hmm. much improved, some confidence there, some good momentum. How do you think that defense matches up against Clemson's offense? Well, I, I like it because when you look at it, Courtney, the last couple of weeks, they've held the opponents under 300 yards of total offense. I mean, we've, looked, we've seen 550, close to 600. The linebackers are playing better. They made some move, moves. Uh, Deke Adams went upstairs. Lorenzo back on the sideline. So when you look at this team defensively, they're playing better. Now, I don't think Clemson is that juggernaut as an offense anymore. So I feel good about that matchup, and I think they can play well up at Clemson. Now, Corey, on Tuesday when I was at uh, Dabo Sweeney's press conference, it came up if he thought it would be the last time he coaches against Steve Spurrier. His response, heck no, he's going <laughs> to coach till he's 100. So what do you think about that? Do you think there is a possibility it could be the last meeting between Dabo and, and the head ball coach? I don't know. I, you know, I think Steve Spurrier, he's, he's in great shape. I heard uh, Dabo allude to that. He works out all the time, and he loves the game. You know, he's the, the ball coach, the head ball coach, the HBC. I think so. If they can win this game, get to 7-5, Go to a bowl game with a chance to win eight games. When you talk about the freshman class that they have coming in, I think he feels confident about that. I mean, you know, they got some players coming back. We don't know what's going to happen with Mike Davis or Brandon Wiles, those guys on the offense, Shaq Rowland. They have potential, but if they lose and they lose a bowl game, I think Steve Spurrier may retire. All right. A couple more for you. Mm -hmm. What is the main key to the game for each team? So Carolina needs will win if they do this, or Clemson will win if they do this. Clemson will win this ball game if they don't turn it over. I mean, Dabo talked about that. If you go back to the last five years, they have turned the ball over. They had opportunities in all of those games. They were right there in the fourth quarter, but a mistake here, a mistake there cost them. So they had to protect the football. For South Carolina, I think it's about running the football, controlling the clock, limiting the possessions of the uh, offense, and they're going to have to play good defense. They need to come up with some stops. Courtney, if they can do that, uh, it's going to be a close game. I, I, I predict the South Carolina win this game by 10 points. If you look at the last five years, that's been a double-digit win for the Gamecocks. And the good guys going to make it six in a row. All right. Well, you answered all my questions for me, and I'm sure for the viewers <laughs> at home. All right. That's it for sports. We'll be back after this quick timeout.